think about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, trust but verify is goes beyond that, right? There was a Deloitte article that Deloitte did something with LLM yeah. and then they referenced yeah, that was things. that was a um, a report that they had charged a significant sum of money to the yeah. Australian government for yeah. that they had then done it and they had not they had not reviewed it properly. So it had all kinds of citations. I think it was on environmental Correct. Uh, topics. And it was quoting things that didn't exist, exactly. right? So they even got the name of the authors correct, but when the reviewer went through and checked, they don't have those publications. So which is kind of scary. It kind of it's hallucination. Uh, you know, well, it's a combination, right? Sometimes it's a pure hallucination. Sometimes it's confabulation where maybe right. there is a paper similar yeah. or two papers and what it's doing mm -hmm. is blending the, the names together. We've seen that when we talked about some of the medical uh, Got it. Systems, Got it. And uh, if you think about it, how it all works, it's kind of stored within the as a statistical pattern within the LLM. It's not really going out and pulling the paper down yeah. from an archive to look at it, right? So uh, it can get confused. Uh, yeah. or, you know, if it doesn't have enough data, it's kind to fill in the uh, gaps just by looking at the statistics. But to your point, way. trust but verify, yeah. right? If yeah. it doesn't show you or doesn't give you a link and you don't review that paper, yeah. maybe so, you shouldn't send it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, That's the danger.